This is the HMS 1500. It's a stainless steel multi-stage pump with the intelligent um, variable frequency controller on here. This is probably my favorite um, variable speed drive controller in the market. It's very sim simple to use. What's great about it is it's got really good leak, leak detection. So we've had quite a few customers with pumps with these controllers on contacting us and say, oh no, the pump is amazing. It picked up, there was a leak somewhere in the house and um, reported a warning, which is very nice. Um, it's also got dry run protection. It's very easy to um, set the pressure up and down. One of the big advantages with this controller for variable speed drive pump though is you can actually um, set how far down uh, the pressure goes before it turns on. So it's got a tiny little um, buffer tank here, but if you want to really save a lot of power, you can actually put a bigger buffer tank in line and then set it to allow the pressure to drop further before it kicks it on. And then for constant operation, you'll still get the benefit of a variable speed drive, but you'll get a far less cycling um, if you use it with a larger tank. And something like that allows it to outperform the, the DAB easy boxes in terms of power consumption. In terms of noise, it's one of the quietest pumps. It's not quite as quiet as the DAB, as the EasyBox or the EasyBox Mini, but um, for a 1.5 kilowatt pump, which is quite a large pump, it is definitely, other than those, the quietest one we've tested. All right, so let's see what, what we've got here. We're just taking out uh, access to the power meter so we can monitor power consumption. So we've got it set to start with a two bar. Let's see if we run just the low flow situation. Then we're overshooting slightly, but we're sort of the two, 2.2 bar, bar range. And the great thing with this is it can throttle really deep. So we're at a 1,500 watt pump and we're actually only drawing 169 watt for a small load at two bar. If we then up that load to one shower, uh, we are still keeping our pressure pressure nicely. We're at about 500 liters per hour, and we're now at 210 watt um, power draw. And we add a second shower. Actually, didn't hear much of a change in pitch. But, uh, we went from um, went up to 260 watt power consumption for that one, and we're now at a thousand liters now. If we add a third shower. We are 330 watts power draw, and that's at about 1,600 liters an hour. If we then up it to 2,500 liters an hour, um, we are drawing 460 watts. So very, very efficient at the low, low pressure settings, which is nice. If we then up our pressure to a set two and a half bar. At the small load now, we're pulling 200 watt. If we then open it up, this single shower running, we're now at about 600 liters an hour. At the two and a half bar, we're pulling 270 watt. Two showers running, we are at 1,100 liters and we're at 340 watt. Adding a third shower, getting to about 1,800 liters an hour, and we're at 450 watts. So, at the very low pressure, it's incredibly power efficient. Um, if you need to run through a filter system, especially something with vessels, though, you would need um, to be able to maintain about 2,000 liters an hour at over two bar. So that would be your absolute minimum, and this one does it comfortably at very low um, power consumption. Let's see if we then turn it up to three bar. Okay, at three bar pressure, we have only a small load. Let's see where we settle out here. We had 250 watt, which is not bad for full three bar. We have a single shower running. We are now doing about 650 liters per hour 
and we're drawing 330 watt. If we add the second shower in, it's very quick to respond. There's only a very quick um, dip, in the, dip in the pressure there. We're now at 410 watt for the two showers. If we add the third shower, we are 1,900 liters per hour and we're drawing 520 watts. So actually still at free bar, very, very efficient power consumption wise. Let's just take it up to two and a half thousand liters per hour. Two and a half thousand liters per hour. Uh, we're drawing 680 watt. Okay, let's try three and a half bar. And three and a half bar was the highest we found we could really um, manage with a, a DAB EasyBox Mini. And um, even at that, it, we were getting some power consumption warnings. So this is similarly priced. So overall, my suspicion is this one is a better value option. Let's have a look. Let's go for a small, small load there at three and a half bar. Nice sound pressure. It's 310 watt. A single shower. About 700 liters, um, 700 liters per hour. We're at 410 watt. With two showers, at about 1,400 liters per hour. And there we're at 520 watts. And with three showers running, we are about 2,100 litres. We're pulling 680 watts. So we're actually drawing, what's that? Quite a bit less. I think that's about 130 to 150 watt less than the EasyBox Mini for the, same, um, for the same flow. And the nice thing is we can up the flow still. So there we're at 2,500 litres an hour. And then we're at 770 watt at 3.5 bar. Let's have a look if we then go to four bar. Okay, so the um, tiny opening at four bar. We're at 370 watt. With a single shower, we were um, drawing 800 watt on the EasyBox Mini. And actually, yeah, at four bar, we're managing this at only 480 watt. So that's, uh, that's dropping to 470. And that's a little over 700 to about 750 liters an hour at four bar. It's keeping the pressure nicely. So far, very impressed with this. And then if we open a second shower, just under 1,500 litres an hour, and at 570 watt. And now we're um, over what we could, could reach with the EasyBox Mini. And three showers, then we're climbing to um, 780 watt. So that is ballpark about what the EasyBox Mini pulled for a single shower. Okay, that's very impressive. And if we go to two and a half thousand liters an hour at um, at four bar, okay, that that pressure gauge shows a little bit lower, but yeah, at the pump, it's also got a pressure gauge. It's still showing four bar. Now we're drawing nine hundred watt. Okay, let's give it a. Give it a shot at four and a half bar. I think the upper limit for this pump is five, so we're getting close to the the, the higher end of what it can achieve. Okay, so small load. Just to get it to reach steady state. 
Okay, so 440 watts for a small load at um, four and a half bar. And a single shower. We're doing about 800 liters an hour, hour now. And we're starting to, oh no, there we, we're at pressure at four and a half bar. And um, we're drawing 570 watt with a single shower. If we add a second shower, we're now a bit over about 1,500 liters an hour flow rate here. And at the pump side, we're on the, at about the four and a half bar on its pressure gauge. And we're drawing 730 watt. Adding a third shower. Let's um, have a look here. Third shower, we're at 975 watt. And we're at 2,300 liters per hour and we're still managing to actually keep the pressure. Uh, okay, there, two and a half thousand liters. It's at 980 watt. Okay, so that's actually doable at four and a half bar still. And still staying relatively quiet. Definitely louder than at the lower pressures, but relatively quiet. Now let's give it a try at five bar and see if it can manage this. So this is sort of at the upper end of what it's supposed to be able to manage. Okay, starting up there. We're pulling um, 530 watts for a small, small load. A single shower with about 800 liters liters an hour and we're drawing 660 watt adding a second shower there it needs to spool up quite a bit more with 1550 liters and we're drawing 850 watt we then add a third shower i just want to give it a chance okay so the third shower now we're struggling to keep the pressure up. We're sitting at um, 4.75 bar on, on the, the pumps readout here. So we didn't, we're not keeping to the five bar and we are at about 2,350 liters per hour and we're drawing a thousand and fifty watt. Just up that a bit to the 2,500. Now then we're drawing um, 1,070 watt, so really close to that. Okay, so still getting a decent effect from the variable speed drive, even at 5 bar. That's very impressive. See, it's fairly quick to respond. It's got a, even with this little tank, it's getting quite a smooth delivery. Got enough of a buffer to just open and you not get that dip which you get on um, some of the some of the pumps. Okay, now this is in theory at maximum pressure. Let's see what it does. I'm going to set it to five and a half bar, but that um, I wouldn't expect it to actually do well at its absolute maximum setting. Okay. Well, it's actually delivering it, um, but now we're putting 590 watt for a small load. A single shower, you're 800 liters an hour, 670 watt. Hmm, okay, yeah, at the five and a half bar, it's, it's struggling to, to get to a point where it's turning off. So, yeah, that it's actually not drawing crazy amounts of power, but it, um, yeah, it's clearly not, not happy as it's not able to switch off drop that down to five bar then immediately turns off again but yeah okay so it's we're still getting benefits from the variable speed drive up to five bar which is very impressive it's um, definitely one of the quieter pumps that we've tested the one downside with it is you really need to bleed it properly because we did um, struggle a bit to get all the air out of the pump but in theory that's a one-time issue that's something you need to do when you initially set it up and then afterwards it's it shouldn't be an issue again um, nice thing of this controller is it's got the leak detection 
And more than anything else is if you do want to save a lot more power, you can put a larger buffer tank um, in with the system and actually set it on the controller to allow the pressure to drop down more before the pump actually switches on. And we've demonstrated in another video how much power you could save with that. And that really is, in my mind, if, if I were to do something at my house, I'd probably use this pump with a relatively large buffer tank as I think you're gonna get amazing power consumption out of that. Other thing, it's stainless steel, so you don't need to worry about um, corrosion or anything like that as you do with any of the cast iron pumps, which definitely, definitely helps. But yeah, overall, I think I've got a new favorite pump.